It's not your feelings that are the problem. You get so bitter, so angry, so frustrated, so disappointed, so depressed for feeling how you feel that you make how you feel even worse. You are human. And I know that that's a sin nowadays, but it's okay to feel how you're feeling. I love to use Job for example, because when he lost everything, it wasn't that he was okay with losing everything. Imagine being known as being blameless and upright, knowing that you don't do anything wrong, and then everything gets taken from you. It's not that Job was never depressed, that he never felt anxiety, that he was never fearful. It was that he took his feelings to God. In the same way that in 2 Chronicles 20, 3 and 4, it says Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. Jehoshaphat was a king. He was supposed to be a very mighty, big, strong warrior. But the truth is, is that he wasn't fiery and always full of courage. He was scared. He was a part of a small tribe that was getting attacked by three big, powerful, bloodthirsty armies. And we don't even have to assume that he was scared, although it's safe to, because scripture says it, Jehoshaphat feared. But what did he do right after he feared? He set himself to seek the Lord. See, the only difference between you, Job, Jehoshaphat, is that when you are scared, when you are depressed, when you are feeling what you're feeling, you run to the world. You run to the smoking and the drinking and you run to your bed and you make yourself feel even worse for how you're feeling. You beat yourself up, you sit in disappointment, you sit in condemnation, you sit in sadness and sickness until you literally feel like God left you. You don't have to sit in an abyss of self-defeat because you're not defeated. If God stands for you, who can be against you? Jesus is the answer to everything that you're looking for. When you're looking for comfort, how to love yourself, how to respect yourself, love in general, peace, contentment, Jesus is the answer to that. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. His righteousness is Jesus. And then it says, all these things shall be added unto you. You'll get through the depression. You'll get through the anxiety. You'll get through all of the battles of life that feel like they are pressuring you to the point where you're about to break. With Jesus by your side, your breaking point is not the thing that kills you. Your breaking point is your breakthrough point. I know that when you're upset and everything feels too heavy, it's hard to call on God and say, God, I trust you. It's hard to call on God and pray that he comes in your situation. You feel ashamed, you feel sad, and it's awkward almost when you're in a season of attack and you're trying to talk to God through it. You mean to tell me that I just got my heart broken and you want me to talk to God? He's the last person I want to talk to. More times than not, because you're functioning in toxicity, the last thing that you want to do should be the first thing that you do. I know that's a lot, but when you're feeling the circumstances that you're feeling, run to Jesus. Seek the Lord at all times. He's got you.